Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel and today we are going to learn about Add Builder Annotation provided by Project Lombok. So in last video I have explained to use Getters and Setters method, sorry annotations uh, provided by Project Lombok and we saw that how it can eliminate some boilerplate codes of using the Getters and Setters and also we saw some advantages. Okay. So in this video, I will explain how the add builder annotation will help you to create JSON requests effectively and with the less codes. Okay. So suppose if uh, I uh, I need to create a JSON object where I need to pass, I need to create some data. Where, uh, for that, I created the imply pojo, right? So what I'm going to do. Let me convert it to JSON. For that, I am going to use the Jackson. Okay. So before that, I just I want to repeat. If someone has not watched my previous video, then in this particular project inside this pom dot XML, I have already added the dependency of Project Lombok. Okay. And also I have added the plugin, Project Lombok plugin. So if you are not sure like how to add the plugin of Project Lombok, please watch my previous video which you can see my right hand side on the screen. Okay. So, so suppose if I want to create a JSON object, right? So I will convert this to JSON. So for that I am going to use object mapper provided by uh, Jackson library object mapper mapper equal to new object mapper okay and if you see my pom.xml you can find that i've already added the jackson dependency as well okay and here i have already created one pojo in the employee where i have three fields and i've used the getter and set annotation like same as previous video okay so here i have a method call let me print directly this out mapper then write value the string and i will pass employee okay and also i will add the pretty printer okay and uh, it's some so let me throw the declaration okay so let me run this program and we should see a proper json okay well formatted as well Okay, we can see we created one JSON object. So similar to this, we need to create many payloads, right? And if you see here, what the headache like when you create an object of the POJO class, then we need to set the values, right? This is generally we do. So, but we can eliminate this type of coding, okay? Or we can write some optimal coding more readable as well using the builder annotation provided by project lombok so let me go and show you how can we use so like getters and setters we have another annotation provided by add builder okay and you can see it is coming from lombok okay we can see it is coming from lombok so once you have once you mention the add builder annotation on your pojo class okay you are you cannot uh, create an instance of this okay you can see there's one error okay because by uh, when you ha have the builder uh, and it will not have the default constructor here okay so that's why you are getting the error here so what is the way you need to use employee class name okay what is the pojo name okay then we will automatically get one method called builder okay this is static method you can see the s symbol as well okay that's why i'm calling it using the class name okay we know that we any static member of a class we can call via class name so member dot builder okay then we can create we can set the values just you can see it's like coming first name correct now you can set the value as first name okay then simply do the dot uh, last name okay then cell uh, we have another field salary here okay so 
so i'll pass some 100 okay and after setting all the values we need to call the build method okay build method so instead of uh, calling the set first name set last name set salary we can directly you call the builder method that is static from the employee class and just set the values okay and you can see i am not calling the employee instance to call it again and again i just using the dot 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 same thing we see in the recessive code as well like when we write this so dot given dot headers dot uh, author authorization dot cookie right so they are also using the builder pattern okay if you are trying to do, to achieve the same thing by writing the code you will need to do a lot of modification inside this class okay but by using a simple notation provided by builder you can directly use the builder pattern okay and this is much cleaner code and if you run this code you will see the same output okay so what is the problem okay so if you see uh, i have already explained this uh, error in my previous video you can see no serializer found for class employee no property discovered to create some bean serializer okay so why it is coming because we have not added annotation when you have the build annotation so set is not required but getter you, you will require okay so you need to add an, an get annotation okay so then only it will be give you the json okay let to run the program and show the output sorry not this one we need to run the usage of employee class okay we can see it's, we are getting the proper json now okay so we use the builder annotation so no need to provide the setter because we, builder will give you the option to set the values but for converting the uh, pojo object to json object we need to provide the get annotation because it is used internally to uh, convert to convert to json okay now now we will see another important concept related to build annotation if you see here we call the build method right at the end after setting all the values if you want to update any value of this employee pojo so let me see if we can do or not let me call employee okay dot uh, we, we don't see first name method right now we are only seeing the get method why because once you call the build method you cannot go and edit it okay so you might think that, okay we cannot reuse the pojo thing, pojo object then means if suppose you are writing if you if you want to hit one api with a different set of values so suppose this is a very big pojo class and you have sim set the values for all the fields but for the next api or next uh, scenario you just need to change some field and hit this request again so instead of creating this again we can reuse the this one employee again but how okay it is not allowing me now so for that what you need to do you need to go to pojo class and for the builder we need to add one property that is called to builder okay to be builder equal to true once you add this property to builder as true if you come here and do employee dot to builder okay we are getting a new method called to builder here and now you will see the first name means you can see in the value okay so suppose for the next employee i will just change the first name and last name and salary will be same okay okay and let me call the build method okay remember once you call this build method you need to store okay you can store in some different instance or you can use the same instance as well okay so here you can see i am taking this okay and i just modify the first name and last name and then call the build method it is mandatory to call build method without that you cannot convert it 
okay now if i print this is the this uh, if i convert that pojo to json we'll see that only the first name and last name will be updated and the salary will come from here okay so this will be employee one and let me run this okay so you can see for the first we have the amod mahajan and sally we have hundred for the second i used the above instance and just updated the first name and last name and sally will be hundred so these two addresses are really useful in api automation in creating the request body okay so that's all in this video if you have any comment or if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.